is Troy with another pen mail video. I'm gonna show you stuff that I've received since the last pen mail video. Not necessarily all of them like arrived within the past day or two, but this is since my last video. So let me start off with uh, something that I got. You know, you mentioned Jin Hao. Some people are like, ew, ew, Jin Hao, no way. Actually, I don't mind. I don't mind the lower end pens. I don't mind the higher end pens. And today I'm gonna show you some on both ends of that scale. Uh, you know, within reason. I'm not going to show you the really low-end Jin Hao. I'm going to show you actually uh, a Jin Hao that's like 15 times as much as some of the Jin Hao's that you guys have been buying. Maybe seven times as much, depending upon what you're buying. So, let me start with this. Dragon Pens by Jin Hao. I've got three. Yeah, and let me get the other finger up. Three of them. And uh, I started out when the first Dragon Pen I, I ever got uh, from Jin Hao was this 1200. Now, I'm going to put up a picture of all three of them side by side in just a little bit, but I wanted to show you these. So this was the Jinhao 1200. I already had that in my collection. It's got a nice dragon clip. Okay, so I kind of liked it. It's nice and beefy, weighty, writes really well. Kind of liked it. So I had been looking at other Jinhao pens that were, you know, a little more upper end for Jinhao anyway. And uh, Chris Rapp had done a review on this particular pen right here, the Jinhao Dragon Pen. Now, believe it or not, I had this one in my wish list or my, want, uh, my watch list on eBay for a long time before Chris ever did his video. And uh, one day I just balked and I said, nah, I don't know. I don't know if I want to do it. So, but, you know, after Chris did his review, I went ahead and bought it. It was like $14, $15 uh, shipped to my door. It actually came in a very nice ornate box, you know, a big old box like this. Um, and it had a very nice, um, you know, leather, uh, maybe it's real leather, maybe it's fake, I don't know, bo gift box like that, presentation box. And it was very nicely done. So I said, no, that's cool. That was actually classy, the what they did. So I went ahead and uh, enjoyed that and actually wrote pretty good. So I said, you know, there's another dragon pen that I've seen out there in the past by Jin Hao. And you know what? I saw sellers trying to get, you know, $90 to $100 for it. And I was like, <clears throat> no, no way, not for a Jin Hao. Ain't paying that much. I'm not stupid. Well, I was just surfing, you know, just checking out pens online and just seeing what popped up. And this one, which I've seen literally selling for like $90 to $100, $120 popped up for like 15 bucks. I was like, wow, that is just a minute fraction of what I've seen it for previously. So I said, why not? Let's give it a shot. Not only that, it was an American seller. It came from California. Now, of course, it came in a much, oh, I, I moved it over here, a much less ornate box such as this. It was actually a pretty, you know, plain old box with a Jin Hao logo on it. And you open it up and it's got kind of that magnetic seal on one side. And you open it up, it was nothing but a plain old Jin Hao box. Okay, no big deal. Boxes don't really impress me, you know. I'm not the one who's all, into all the presentation of boxes and things. So anyway, I got this. And this is one that's been on my list for quite a while. Uh, at least in my in my radar for a while. But I wasn't going to pay that kind of money. I thought this was rather ornate. You know, I kind of liked it. It's got the crown up top, so you got the facets over here. They're, you know, they're holding in this uh, little... You know, it reminds me of a wizard staff kind of thing, but it's got that little like uh, fake gem on the top, you know, that little crystal ball looking thing that's green, emerald crystal, I guess. And so, I, you know, I haven't played with it yet, I haven't written with it yet, because, you know, I just got it a little while ago, and I haven't really had time to, uh, to play with it. But it does have, you know, a little nib on it, I guess that's a number six nib. Um, if not, it's, you know, it actually looks kind of small, probably because just the pen's a little bigger. So it may be a number six, could be a number five, but I'm thinking it's a number six nib. And it came with, you know, your, your typical Jin Hao converter, although they put it kind of a nicer, a uh, little nicer because it's got some brass on it, and you don't normally see that. So anyway, um, that's my Jin Hao Dragon Pen collection. I got another Dragon Pen that I got a while back. Uh, that's uh, from a different brand, actually a, a nicer brand. Um, but, um, you know, three dragon pens from Jin Hao, and I probably got $32 invested in it, maybe a little bit more. Maybe, maybe 35 somewhere in there. So not too bad, you know. Um, we'll see if this one is actually a good writer. Like I said, I haven't inked it up yet, I hadn't played with it. You get that rattle of that, you know, that little gem at the end of the wizard's staff kind of thing. So I thought that was pretty cool. Anyway. All right. Uh, next. Uh, just arrived today in the mail. I've had on my uh, wish list a Schaefer Tyrannus. 
Now, a Schaefer Tyrannus is not a high-end pen. Um, Schaefer, uh, you know, they've been kind of going a little bit downhill, a little bit downhill in their quality and their production, uh, just because I guess it's a, a brand that's uh, you know getting less and less now that uh, Schaefer and Cross, uh, I do believe, are one company. Um, but I wanted a Tyrannus. I thought they were really good looking. They came highly recommended. I've had one of my uh, eBay uh, watch list uh, on and off for the past year or so. And I saw some an amethyst I really wanted, and uh, yeah, but it was a fine nib. I was kind of looking for a medium nib. Uh, I kept my eyes out for other colors. I balked on a few colors because I didn't like the color, or I didn't like the nib, or the combination just didn't suit me. So finally, um, and by the way, these other ones were like forty dollars and up, just to give you an idea. Uh, someone had one on Virtual Pen Show, which is, if you're on Instagram and you're looking for pens, you got to be quick, though, to snatch them up. Um, I saw a Schaefer Tyrannus, and it was at a decent price. It was used, and uh, it was in excellent condition, so I went ahead and jumped at it. I was the first person to contact and say, hey, I'm interested, and you still got it, and sent him a PayPal payment. Lo and behold, uh, let's see, he got it out on Friday, sent from New York to my home in North Carolina, and today's mail... Uh, shows up a Schaefer Tyrannus. So I got it in the gray, um, and this is what it looks like for the nib and section. I will tell you this, he did not clean out the pen when he sent it to me. So it actually does not have a converter. Fortunately for me, I probably, I think I've got some Schaefer converters over here in, in my drawer, so. But he did not clean it out, and it actually left a lot of ink still in the section. So when I pulled it out and I looked at it, oh, oh I got ink on myself. Uh, oh, let's see if I can write with it. Maybe he did leave the converter in it. Uh, so I went ahead and wrote for a little while with it until it started to run out of ink. So it actually had some ink left uh, that was in that section. And I can tell you this, it was buttery smooth from the writing that I did do. So I'm going to clean it out, flush it out. Um, I'm going to put some ink that I desire in it and look for a review of that uh, sometime in the near future. I say near because I've got a bunch of pens listed that I'm going to review and um, I just have not done them as of yet. Now I'm going to share with you one here that I have to review in the near future because I have to return it. And kind of an interesting story here. I told you I was going to show you some pens on the upper end. If you like $1,100 pens, yes, I just checked the retail uh, from various retailers just the other day, and it was about $1,100. And uh, I did see, however, one just like it on eBay used go for $670 or so just within the past couple of days because I've been keeping an eyeball on them. I've been trying to win uh, on eBay an auction for a Visconti Homo Sapiens for a while. And I... I've touched the pen, I like the pen, I just haven't been able to um, get one yet at a price that I was willing to pay at the moment. And you know, each time I go back, I bump up how much I'm willing to pay a little more, bump up how much I'm willing to pay a little more. I've gotten price quotes brand new, I've seen used ones, I've seen ones on quote clearance. Just this morning, I lost uh, an eBay auction on a uh, Bronze Age version that I've been really wanting. I want the Bronze Age. Don't want the Black Age. Don't want, uh, or uh, you know, the all in black. I don't Dark Ages. I guess they call it. And I, I don't want the, um, I don't want the Iron Age or Steel, whatever they, they happen to call it. But you know, I've been wanting the Bronze Age because I love the way it looks. <sighs> so just this morning, someone squeaked it eat just above me on an auction just this morning. Uh, and I lost that auction, uh, oh, gee whiz, 8 o'clock or so this morning, Eastern Time. Not too happy about that. But Visconti, a lot of people love them, a lot of people hate them. I will tell you from my personal experience, every Visconti I have touched and used thus far has been good. There are people who have had bad experiences, and I understand that, because if you pay five to $500 to $1,000 for a pen and it writes horribly, you tend to get cheesed off. And I get it. I will tell you that everyone I've touched so far I've liked, including this one. This is the Jade version. Uh, and uh, this arrived at my house last week. And uh, interesting story behind it. All right? It's got an extra fine nib. I'm not much on uh, extra fine, much less fine nibs. But this one actually writes probably wider and wetter 
than your average extra fine, uh, much less maybe even wider and wetter than a fine nib. So um, the jade version, they go for about 1100 bucks, and I inked it up with some Papier Plume Ivy, uh, green ivy, and uh, maybe I've got a picture of it I can put up for you. I did some writing with it. Still, I think for me personally, if I'm going to buy it, I probably still go with minimum of a fine if uh, it holds true how the nibs write um, for fine uh, and for medium. Uh, if they hold true that they write a little broader and wetter, um, I probably might still bump up from an extra fine, me personally, because it's just my personal taste. Everybody has their own personal taste. For me, medium seems to be the sweet spot for me in just about anything, uh, and I'm generally happy. I'm not a big fan of huge broads and stubs, and I'm definitely not usually a fan of fines and extra fines. This, however, for an extra fine, actually wrote fairly nicely, and I can't complain. This palladium nib does very nicely. So, um, this is on loan, and l interesting story about how it ended up in my possession for the time being. Um, yeah, this particular piece is on loan. I feel like I am uh, an art museum curator, but when I was doing a video review of a pen by Cross a while back, I had shown an example of what Cross typically does, uh, and they had a pen... Uh, that was given to me by my employer and on the clip uh, molded into the clip they they cast it just for my company was the company logo and one of my viewers happens to work for that company the same company that I work for so we kind of put two and two together that I might actually still work for that company so I'm sitting here working one day and I get a little instant message from from somebody and uh, I said hey, hey Troy this may seem like kind of a, a weird question but are, are you the same Troy that does video reviews on fountain pens on, on YouTube I said, yes as a matter of fact I am so we had a really nice conversation um, and uh, come to find out we had been following each other on Instagram. He'd been watching my videos on YouTube, and uh, we're in some of the same uh, pen groups on Facebook, and we had no idea that we worked for the same company. He works with a lot of people that I used to work with who ended up getting relocated to his end of the country, and he used to work with people who I work with on a regular basis and I'm on conference calls with almost every day. So we actually know a lot of the same people in the circle uh, for our our years of influence at work so that was really neat small world you know so anyway this is on loan from him and I'm not gonna mention his name because I don't have permission to do so um, either his real name or his screen name uh, but I will say thank you wholeheartedly I have been enjoying playing with it writing with it I've been carrying it a lot been writing with it a lot and uh, I'm gonna return it in excellent condition all cleaned out and I will do a video review on it prior to me returning it so uh, Anyway, that is uh, my latest pen mail, albeit this one is temporary, and Schaefer Tyrannus, now a part of my collection after balking at them for about a year in various colors, finally settled on one, and after seeing this pen for ten times as much uh, as what I paid for it, brand new, I went ahead and settled on it and went ahead and bought it. So. Anyway, that is my pen mail for today, since my last video. The other thing that I got that I, I didn't tell you about, I found somebody online who was selling pen uh, uh, ink sacks. So for you know old fountain pens that have the lever, I've gotten pretty good at replacing sacks, and I've had uh, the need of various sizes of sacks, and there was one guy who was selling um, like three or four different sizes of sacks, couple sacks of each, along with some talc, along with um, some shellac. I didn't need talc or shellac, and I didn't need the section pliers that came along with it. But I will tell you, I got all of this together in a package shipped for cheaper than I would have paid for um, the cost of the ink sacks, which go retail usually for about $2 a piece. I got everything uh, in one package shipped to my door cheaper than I would have paid brand new for the ink sacks. So, you know, I saw that deal. I was like, what are you going to do? Why not? I, a matter of fact, some of those sizes I kind of needed, uh, you know, within the last couple of months when I replaced some sacks. And I had to settle for one that was a little smaller rather than being the, the proper size that I needed. So, anyway, pen mail. Thanks for watching. Talk to you later. Bye.